Welcome to My Stories Red Channel. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, please like and share your comments. We make new videos with interesting stories every day. My 24F sister, 18F, is engaged my ex, 32M. My father encouraged the relationship to spite me and my mother. Hi everyone, this is a little complicated. In 24F, my parents, 44F and 51M, divorced when I was 14. My dad was having an affair. I caught him with the other woman and told my mom about it. Has hated my mom and me ever since. My sister, 18 now, was 7 at the time of the divorce and he started using her as a pawn. Had tell her lies about me and my mom so she wouldn't want to lie with my mom. He told my sister me and my mom were going to throw away all of her toys. He got her a dog and told her if she stayed over my mom's house nobody would feed the dog and it would starve. So because of this my sister has wanted to lie with my dad since they divorced. My mother and I have a very strained relationship with my father. When I was 16 I started dating a guy who was 24. I was with him for 3 years, I finally left him after he put me in the emergency room for the third time. I just left with my car and the clothes I had on in the air. I left everything else and drove back to my mom's house. Now my sister announced on social media Chess engaged to him. My mom called my sister furious. She said Chess been dating him for over a year now and my father knew about the relationship and encouraged it. She told my mom she was 18 now. She just turned 18 two weeks ago. It was too late and she couldn't do anything about it. My mother talked to my father who basically said for me and my mom to f off. That he deuced blame Alexander for putting me in the hospital and hopes he does it again if I don't shut up. My dad admitted to purposely not telling my mom about my sister dating him, to keeping in contact with him and letting him stay over the house with my sister alone for years. Has allowing all of this just to spite me and my mom. Is there any talking sense into either of them? Comments. I would explain to my sister what happened between my ex and I, even if she ignores the message just to clear my own conscience. Then I would honestly go and see with her and your dad. I guess I should be mentioned that she knows what happened. Unfortunately, she's 18 now and it's impossible to legally compel her against this relationship. She knows what happened, but to be honest with both your father and this P, in her ear, she's quite plausibly being manipulated to think you somehow deserved the abuse and it would never happen to her. And as unfortunate as that is, there's nothing you can do about it right now. You can report this to the police as suspected grooming. It's on the police to investigate. Without any evidence that the relationship started when your sister was 16 or younger though there isn't a lot that can be done legally. And as your sister has your father's blessing and is currently considered a legal consenting adult, it's unlikely this will be investigated. As shitty and difficult as the situation is, the best advice I can give you is make copies of any and all evidence you have that this man is abusive and any evidence he groomed started a relationship with your sister as a minor. Keep that on hand. Report it if you can just to get the paper trail started. It will help her if she tries to report him for abuse. Block your father. Don't reach out to your sister anymore. But don't block her. Chess dating an abuser. Eventually, the abuse will escalate. And given your father's behavior, she's going to need a safe person to run to when shit hits the fan. Don't initiate any contact with her, but keep the line of communication open. She knows what happened to you. She may try to reach out if things start to get bad. Once she's willing to accept help, you can do what you feel safe and comfortable with to help her. Until she's willing to accept the help though, you are only putting yourself in danger by trying to force her to see the situation for what it is. And I know that sucks and makes you feel helpless and stuck. But unfortunately you're in an impossible situation with no clean outcome. Save and report any threats you receive from any of them. Even if it's your sister, don't reply to anything, don't meet any of them, don't acknowledge the relationship, don't let it seem like any of this bothers you. Ultimately that's the goal to bother you, because abusive people can't stand when a victim escapes. 
Your sister is young and manipulated. You can help her if she doesn't want the help. But a time may come when she does reach out and she does want help. You just keep that line of communication open and be vigilant.